Hi, comic book fans and YouTube goers and just anybody watching this. Hi, I'm Jason Cool and I'm your host for the Jason Cool Comic Book Show. The coolest show, comic book show on the planet. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, I'm doing this show for all our comic book fans out there and I review the latest comics. I'm also doing this show for people who are, might want to get into comic books and suggestions and you know just to lead the way of the whole comic universe and uh, but before I go on uh, I'd like to uh, address the people who want to comment on my new YouTube page saying that comic books are for kids uh, I need to grow up and all that jazz uh, let's get thing, one thing straight uh, One's reading a book meant for kids. Uh, if you don't want, if you want to tell me comic books, uh, not literature, uh, you got another thing coming. Uh, comic books always have long stories. Here's a book. I can never read it because I always fall asleep. These are graphic novels that's based on a that was based on a long story and used to be uh, comic book issues at one time. And they tell a long story, and just as long as the comic book novels. But the difference between uh, uh, a book and a comic book, I have to read a whole paragraph about what the damn house looks like. I have to read a whole paragraph how the water is out there looking like, and about what everyone looks like. And then by the time I'm done reading, finding out about that, I fall asleep. Comic books take all that boring stuff out and just let you read what you want to read. Uh, so, so if you, if you think anyone out there thinking that it's for uh, just for kids, think again. There's a lot of comic books I wouldn't even let kids read. Like only 30% of the comic books uh, a kids uh, would be a lot of reads, like the ones that you see in the movie. Everything else, it's a bunch of just a bunch of adult contacts on all the com uh, on all the comic books, and I don't suggest the kids should read them. But enough of seriousness, us. Let's. I'd like to uh, first discuss uh, what we're going to do today. Today we're going to review my favorite superheroes, and we're going to review the latest Deadpool video game, and what's coming out this uh, September, and what. Suggestions I got for you for people who want to get it back in the comic books. Um, first things first, let's discuss my favorite superheroes. We got the Amazing Spider-Man, which as you can see, I got the seven hundred last issue of Amazing Spider-Man, where signed by Stan Lee, where uh, Doctor Octavius switches bodies with Peter Parker, and then at the end of this book. Um, Spider Peter Parker dies at Dr. Octavius and Dr. Octavius takes over the role of being Spider-Man. We can now read now and Suspiria Spider-Man. Which is a good read and I think is a good choice. A lot of comic book growers don't think it's a, a, a don't like the idea but I think it's a little excellent idea and it's a new change of pace. You can find that in um, the other comic kind of books that are in Marvel now, which is the new uh, tweaked universe that I got going on. Uh, another favorite superhero of mine is Batman, and not only do I like I like Batman mainly because he's the best, and he's the best from all the rest. And we'll have more on that later. Uh, this is also if you only have that much money. I know there's a lot of Batman titles out there, but if you want to read uh, just one title right now, Batman, uh, Batman Inc. is the uh, the one the, uh, you might want to go with. It's how Bruce Wayne is putting together a corporation of Batmans around the world, like Batman Japan, Batman Australia, Batman German, Batman Russian. Just Batman is all around the world, and it's the best read 
for all the Batman fans out there. And it's a good lead up to uh, to a couple deaths and uh, uh, and just not you cannot be you won't be able to put it down. Now, now my third and foremost favorite, uh, I think, is the coolest superhero is Deadpool. Who to the people who don't read, uh, who don't know read comics, don't know who Deadpool is. So who Deadpool is, you ask? Deadpool is the mercenary with the mouth, uh, who once did a, a mission for Weapon X, and doing so got 22 cancerous tumors, and from what I understand, without his permission. After he got the skin cancer, Weapon X took him uh, without his permission and, and gave him the healing factor, Wolverine's healing factor that they had in a vial. So, he still looks all messed up uh, from the tumors, but he's one of the awesome uh, comic book heroes there is. Because not only is he a mercenary who cannot die, he's uh, also schizophrenic. And he used to be suicidal. And this is one of the suggestions if you are like, hmm, maybe that sounds really cool. I suggest one if you want to check out Deadpool, Deadpool vs. the Thunderbolts. Uh, it's what, uh, it is a really good read. This is when he first runs into Black Widow. And they have a uh, flirt back and forth affair. And it's really funny. And it's about. Him trying to get uh, revenge on Norm Osborn, who is uh, the Green Goblin. Because after there's a, a secret invasion uh, from all from all the scrolls, uh, if you don't know a scroll, a scroll is a shape shifting alien, and they learn how to uh, not only take the form of the superheroes, but to also uh, imitate their powers. And after the invasion was over with, Norm Osborn in, uh, got Deadpool to do a mission for him during the invasion. And this is Deadpool uh, trying to get his revenge on Norm Osborn and try to take whatever he can take because Norm Osborn's uh, running the Thunderbolts at this time. And this is uh, Dark Reign, the aftermath of Secret Invasion. It's a really good read, and if Deadpool sounds like someone he might like, uh, I would go out and get this. Oh, not to mention, Deadpool also knows about us readers, and he's super goofy, and that's why I like him a lot. Another really good read that came out a year and a year and a half ago, or two years ago, was Uncanny X-Force. Uh, if, if you haven't been in the comic books right lately and want to get back into it, this is also actually the best read out there was in the last ten years. This is Uncanny X-Force. This is the team of Wolverine, Deadpool, some new guy named Phantom X, who's uh, partly cyborg, uh, Psylocke, who is that ninja and X-Men who also has like psychic ability powers. Her psychic powers is not as strong as Professor X or Jean Grey, but you know, she does what she can do. And also the team of later on Archangel. And they have the idea of they're going through all different dimensions and killing the uh, apocalypse. And actually, let's open this bad boy up. And I'll show you. This is one of my favorite scenes. Yes, right here. If you can, can you see that camera lady? Yes. This is when Wolverine is like, okay, we're, we're in County X Force. We're just going to bust in the apocalypse. The, the guy who's harder to kill than me, and we're just going to bust that in the front door like we're the police. And uh, this is my favorite part. 
Because as soon as they bust in there, Phantom X gets his head shot off like rock and sock and robots. Archangel, he lights up, uh, he lights up Wolverine, making him look like uh, a dartboard. And Deadpool gets Cyber Blast. And that's just the very beginning. And, it's, and they go through all these dimensions, and each dimension is the uh, Apocalypse, who is the very first mutant ever, uh, is a different mutant. There's one dimension where Wolverine's Apocalypse, and then there, there's another uh, scene where Iceman's Apocalypse, and Phantom X and Deadpool go chasing down to this cave, and uh, Iceman freezes Deadpool and shatters him into a million pieces. And Iceman goes, Deadpool's dead in my pool. And is like the best read out there. And um, oh yeah, this is a TV show that has a lot of spoilers. If you don't like spoilers, uh, I would you know stop watching this show right now because that's mainly what this show is going to be about. Okay, next on the list, uh, let's see, what's going on in Marvel now? Right now, if you didn't know this, uh, about two, two years ago, DC came out with their new tweaked universe, uh, DC 52, where they took 52 new series. Now, this is the aftermath of Flashpoint. Uh, we're talking uh, where Flash makes a ripple on the timeline because uh, he stops uh, Reverse Flash from killing his mom and makes a ripple in the timeline and changes everything. And uh, like for instance, Bruce Wayne is killed at the age of ten, and his dad becomes Batman, and his wife becomes Joker, and. It's just a really good read too, and that's the uh, DC 52 is the new aftermath uh, of uh, of Flash fixing everything, and it's a little you know different from what uh, you would remember. And Marvel not Marvel is like okay, well we're going to do the same idea, and they come out with Marvel now, and right now. Marvel now. Uh, my favorite reads is, of course, it's the Deadpool, where he's more, uh, more looking like a good guy, and in the very, very beginning, he starts. Uh, some guy comes around with a uh, black magic book and makes all the dead presidents come alive. And he has to take out all the dead presidents because S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't want Captain America or Spider-Man taking them out because they wanted a scumbag like Deadpool to take them out. And that's a good read. Also another good read for Deadpool is Deadpool Kills Marvel Universe. I know I got lost track, but that's... I got a little organized. But anyways, Deadpool Kills Marvel Universe is also a good read. If you want to get into Deadpool, it's where another, uh, another Deadpool in another universe takes out the whole Marvel Universe because he believes if he does that, he can finally die as well. 